my daughter Deborah and I were going to the beach at Squibnocket and uh, as we drove along the dirt road we noticed that there were just a lot of butterflies, a lot of monarch butterflies in the goldenrod feeding. That night I went back up about 6.30 and, uh, and there they were and it was, it was absolutely awesome seeing hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of monarch butterflies fluttering around this one tree trying to find the right perching place. I was so inspired that the next day I borrowed an 8 millimeter camera from the school, from the Edgar Town School where I was a teacher. And uh, I must have asked somebody how to use it because I'd never used one before. And I went up again that evening and I, I photographed the butterflies. And uh, it was just so exciting and there was no one there to share my excitement and I didn't know, uh, I could hardly bear it. And then I thought, well, I should go back in the morning because they obviously they have, to, they have to come out of that tree at some point. So I went up at 6 o'clock the next morning and uh, was there when the sun began to hit the tree. And as it hit various parts of the tree, that group of butterflies was suddenly taken, maybe a dozen or so at a time, would suddenly flutter away together. And, uh, and little by little, the tree emptied of all those butterflies. At that time, and it was amazing, I didn't know till this month, that nobody knew where those butterflies were going when I filmed them. That was amazing to me because in all my curiosity and my interest, it didn't really penetrate to wonder where they were going. I knew they were heading out from Gay Head and they had an ocean voyage in front of them, but they must have stopped somewhere for the night. There was no noise other than the butterflies' wings. So it was just kind of a swish, a soft swish and they could just b barely hear it, you know, and, and that made it all the more magical because it was, it was just, it was just such an experience. It was, uh, all I can say was it was magical. I was so excited um, that I was breathing hard and my heart was pumping and I could see the, the camera picture move. Bump, bump, bump. I don't know if anybody else notices it, but I can still feel that excitement when I was doing it. I haven't done a lot of things in my life that, that come forth 40 years later to be famous about, but uh, uh, I'm just happy that I hung on to it and it just didn't get lost in the shuffle. I was so excited when I got there to see this awesome sight that uh, it was just, I was just um, full of awe and wonder myself as I took the pictures and as I moved <laughs> with the camera. Um, it was so exciting and I, I didn't, I really didn't have a big picture of, you know, what the future was going to do or where these butterflies were going or what, but it, it was just such a sight.